Dilapidated school buildings, inadequate facilities have long been a barrier to learning, contributing to low enrollment rates, poor academic performance, and overall educational inequality in Zamfara State. I declare a set of emergency on education in Zamfara State. A reason why the government declared a state of emergency on education shortly after assuming responsibilities for the affairs of the state, a move it believes will show strong commitment towards improving the quality of education by addressing the challenges facing the sector. The neglected education system in Zamfara affects all level from primary to tertiary institutions with poor learning environment and personnel. My government will give the education sector the much needed overhaul owing to virtual collapse of this sector. The state's education emergency will see 325 schools upgraded as against the 250 proposed earlier as the government. <laughs> The state government says it has spent over 12 billion naira as it continues to improve educational infrastructure and create a conducive learning environment for students. Aligned uh, with the pronouncement of the executive governor of Zamfara State, Lord Alawal, when he declared uh, an emergency in the area of education, uh, the government is very serious about education, and that was why when the initial effort to ensure total rehabilitation, renovation of uh, schools in the state in order to ensure the delivery of quality education. A good learning environment has a way of creating positive um, learning outcomes for both question. the teachers. I'm one of the happiest teacher by seeing the schools has been innovate, renovated and being supplied with school materials. I am happy that Governor Dauda already has renovated our school. Before now, before now we used to sit on the ground to receive lessons. But now we sit comfortably and we are happy. Other issues affecting the education sector is banditry, with the government claiming that successes have been recorded in the fight, with promises that safety of schools will receive the highest of priorities. According to the state government, 168 schools that when the red zone have resumed activities with 75 still in bandit controlled areas. Nevertheless, the state government promises that soon all parts of the state will be reached to ensure a safer environment for learning.